Hey everybody, this is Jeff from Ballworks Entertainment. And today we're going to go through orthographic and perspective views using our numpads to use split screens to work on our projects. I'm using Blender 2.79. Uh, if you want to update or have it download Blender, I do have a video on it. Go ahead and check that out. But let's go ahead and get started. First, let's exit out of this splash screen. Just touch any, use any key to exit out of it. And what we're going to do is go over our split screens first. The split screen I use all the time when I work. I use a top, right, and front view. Right now, this is our main screen right here. And we're going to go to the top right over here where this little triangle is. And we're going to hover it over with that plus sign until that comes up. And now we know we can grab a hold of that with our mouse. Just use the left mouse key and grab it and hold it and move it to split the screen. Now we got two views showing, showing the user perspective. The user perspective is not, it's just a user perspective view. If you move it around like this, you see it's just, it stays user perspective. If I want to go, and I always use the left side as the top view, you can do it any way you want. So there's your front view by pressing the one on your numpad on your keyboard. Seven is the top view. That's the one I'm looking for. So I'll leave the, the left window as my top view. Now over here, this is still in the user perspective. We want to use either the right or the front view. So what we're going to do is we're going to split the screen again so we can use both of them. This is the user view, see, user view. And we're going to go in again to push our numpad. You're going to use one, the front view. That's a front perspective view. You see the front perp, top perp. Down here is user perp. Now we're going to do hit the one key, and there's your front view. I'm sorry, uh, three key. There's your right view, your right perspective view. Now, if you want to use your orthographic view, you would hit the five on your numpad, and now you just hover your arrow over each window as you see what I'm doing. I just hovered over the right orthographic view. Now we're going to go up to the top, hover my arrow over that window, hit five. Now you're in the front orthographic view, and we're still in the top perspective view, so I'm going to hit air, uh, hover my arrow over this window and hit 5. That's your top orthographic view. And this is how, and you could also minimize these in the middle by hovering over the line and then adjusting the, however big you want the window, using them tabs if you want it smaller or bigger. As you can see, just hold your left mouse button down. And, and it minimalized. You can actually get rid of them, see? And this little black X up here, or arrow, little tab where you see it changes to a double arrow, you can read, open your tab. But I just go ahead and close that. That way I got more room. And the same way it goes with these ones. See, I could close all these. I did the same thing. But if I wanted to open them again, I just Go on that arrow again, see how I hovered it over, and there we go. And we can adjust it to however we want. We come back up here and say, okay, there we go. We'll just keep it like that. Now you're wondering, how do we get rid of these windows? It's the easiest, the same thing. Come down to the bottom, hover over this little triangle until the plus sign comes up, and hold your left mouse bu button down, and then move up. You see the arrow pointing up? You see that? or down, up or down, you can close the window out either one way. Just keep holding your mouse button down. That's what I'm doing over this little triangle, then closing. And there, got rid of that window. Same way with this one. Just come up here to the top and put the plus sign on there. Hold the left mouse key and you can do the same thing. And now we're back to one window. And we're back to the way the blender default screen is set up. Like I said, this is a very simple use of the numpads and multiple windows. And I will be doing other videos. They're going to be short. When you're doing specific topics, it's a lot easier to learn. But I do thank you for watching. Please thumb up, subscribe, and I'll 
Talk to you guys later. This is Jeff from Ballworks Entertainment signing off.